action! Alright, okay. So, just gonna quickly go through. Sounds like another, just another tidbit of gossip, doesn't it? But you can't just ignore it either. It makes your client look bad either way. Well, I don't think I heard anything really out of the ordinary just now. There has to be something we can catch on. Okay. Man. A scandal? What do you mean by that? Uh, you're a dumb, you're, you're a dim-witted one, aren't you? I can't believe you don't know what a scandal is. Honestly, what are they teaching kids in middle school these days? No, 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 I wasn't asking what the world of scandal means. Uh, even I know that much. Well, that and guard thought he could own a monopoly on popularity. Uh, okay. You don't have any proof that Miss Ungard did any such thing. You must be suffering from shock. The shock of hearing the truth. And now, since you're in so much shock, you can't do anything right. You're right, I can't do anything, but boy, do I wish I could do something about you. Alright then, Sonny, show me what you've got. Can you show me proof? That, uh, he didn't bear any ill will towards one. Sure. I'm not going to let you push me around that easily. Stuff has been my evidence has been rearranged out of order. I don't know if I have any proof. Hmm? What are you handing it over to me for? So you can give that jagged headed baboon boy a message for me, please. Tell me. That no matter what he does, the only thing he's good at is failing. Um, what she said, right? Or should I say, baboon boy? I'll piss off. I hated every second of that. Uh, I will decline for now. I'll decline for now. So what do I, what do you mean I took action? Uh, like I already told you, I was lying in close, um, lying in wait close to the crime scene. Uh, the donut place threatened a lawsuit. All right, okay, so. Let me get through this real quick and I'll talk, I'll, I'll briefly speak upon what's going on with the donut, with the donut shop. Once that slimy woman came out of Juan's room, I was going to capture her and teach her a good lesson, something you youngins need. You were going to teach her a good lesson. I was planning to make her eat the damaging beams of my ray gun, like this. No, stop! Well, it was too bad that woman didn't come through that door that night. Oh, and this is top secret. Wait. Uh, I'm busy woman. Tea time with the kids is over. Secret information that no one else knows yet. If that's true, then how do you know this secret information, huh? Well, that's because I'm a pro. That's Yes, that's it. It's a secret. Even if you drill the hole into my brain, you'll never find out. How in the world did that old bat get such a secret piece of information? Oh, there was a lot of things to, to consider here now. Like, I don't even know, like, where to go with this. If you don't be a good girl and tell me where you got the secret information, you won't get to go home today. Um, Edgy Poo, what are you doing? Help me. What do I have to do with this? Just do this for me, you'll get your reward. I don't want your reward, but you don't leave me much of a choice. 
The witness could have gotten her information from anywhere. It is even possible that it was spontaneously made up inside the witness's head. Ugh. Alright, okay, cool. Sick. Alright, okay, so basically there is, in Leeds, once upon a time, there was this place called, uh, um, Temple Donuts. Uh, it was a lovely little donut, donut joint. Gave, served you good donuts that were vegan friendly also served you really good coffee it was a nice little place very hipster but um nice little solid place um i used to go there a few times when i used to live in when i used to live in Liz two years Liz two years ago um but then uh when i moved back to london during my year stay back in london um Basically, it came out that basically uh, Temple Donuts is run by Nazis, Nazis essentially. Um, they were like super like racist. Like I think the owner like was straight up a Nazi or neo-Nazi, and then like their their staff, most of their staff were super racist, uh, especially to like any of their staff that were like POC. It was terrible. So uh, I did not see that coming. Please. Dan, stop. <laughs> um, so, uh, Danny has. Uh, so, no, it's actually. So, basically, now there is this new. Um, there is this new donut place called Doughboy Donuts, um, which is like, you know, a donut place that is opening literally like down the street from where the original Temple closed. Uh, the original Temple Donuts place was, because obviously Temple Donuts closed permanently. Um, and apparently now, like, Doughboy Donuts under a whole brand new different, like, bra like branding, sort of pink and all that, is apparently half owned by the original Temple Donuts owner, um, which means it's still pretty much half run by, you know, the neo-Nazi lot. Um, and so Danny made a, rec made a review on their page, and now they didn't like it. Um... They didn't like it at all and are threatening to uh, a lawsuit, I guess. I love how she per I love how she took it personally too. <laughs> She's like, I asked you to immediately wait, what was it? It was uh, da, 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 da. I found your gro post grossly offensive and threatening the integrity of me personally. Me personally, when we were literally we're just talking about the company, not you personally, but yeah. So I hate to say, but this is how you came to acquire your secret info, isn't it? And I'm assuming it's going to be... Oh, he didn't like it. Oh, they didn't say they didn't say it wasn't true. No, honestly, the thing is, like, they very much could have just said, "No, this is untrue, and I don't know where you've got your your source from or your information from." Instead, they like immediately, immediately like threatened with a lawsuit, which is you know a bit like. Ugh. Oh, I'm stuck on this part, by the way. <laughs> I'm very stuck. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. So... Can I show her any proof that Ungar didn't bear any ill will towards one? I'm gonna try again. I 
I, I, okay, I genuinely don't have proof. I genuinely do not have proof. I've got nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. This is silly. This is actually silly. I don't know. So, Mr. Because. Fuck. Oh. This, maybe? No, he didn't like it. She didn't like it. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you for. Oh, thank you for the follow, Spy Cad. Welcome to the stream. How has your week been? Uh, if you get really good at this game, you can be my lawyer. <laughs> Just in case that they sue you, they actually sue you. Well, well obviously, I'm not, obviously I'm not good at this game because I'm stuck. Uh, my father's currently in the hospital with pancreatitis. Oh no. That sounds bad. Something to, so, like I don't know what pancreatitis is. I can only imagine something to do with the pancreas. Um, is that something that just is that something you've just found out? I'm really sorry to hear that, Dre Sang. Okay, yeah, I just looked up acute pancreatitis and oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Uh, yeah, no, I wish I wish your old man a speedy recovery, man. That does not sound that does not sound fun. Wait, what was I doing? Find out where she got the secret information from. I pressed further, didn't do anything. Oh no, y'all can see my hair. My hair looks terrible. Um. No, no. I need to do that. This is why. This is why I love the save system in this game. It's so quick and snappy. All right. Okay. Witness, I hate to say it, but this is how you came to acquire the information. I think I originally did that, and I was wrong. So, I'm gonna present. <clears throat> Camera. Oh, it was the camera. Okay, say less. The investigative photographer lost her heart. Oh yes, I remember that mischievous girl. She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. She reported such a thing. On that piece of paper, she had written down some of her outrageous uh, impressions. Uh, about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. So... Danielle, with the the thing with the um with the whole suing and the D boy thing, D boy donuts thing, is that like you literally wrote that on their opening night? <laughs> you wrote that review on their opening night, so I think they're like super upset. Oh, they 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 hated every, on frame one. They hated every second of that fucking review. Doughboy Donuts Leeds is literally still half run by the Nazi Tempe Donuts. Changing a name isn't enough. Disgusting. 
You can make them famous. Well, bad. Well, what's what's the word? Uh, what, how does what is what's, what is this? What's the saying? Um, bad pl- shit. Bad pl- Bad publicity is still publicity and all that malarkey, right? They wouldn't be the first Nazi who's gotten famous by me. Ah, yes. Good old Steve Smith. Oh wait, is that video like public now? You know the one you know, about the incident? Is that public? And everything written on this piece of paper is meaningless. Ah, that's it. That's the note. Ah, shoot. You wasn't meant to show that. Then you're the one who took Mrs. Hart's note. I'm a huge fan of wands, by the way. That infamous puffy haired whippersnapper. She's working hard with that evil on guard. She said so herself. On guard, I'm his sidekick. She was so happy smiling like a silly duck. I was only checking what she had written. Whoops, she fucked up. You believe me, don't you? Oh, was I not meant to say his name or what? I was only trying to help out like the angel I am. It's only one little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. You really should come with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. What? Uh, I suppose we can have a look this once. She looks like she's really sorry. Should I forgive her? I'm not forgiving her. That is my bad. I have to find... Video gets official release in a few days, but I think it's on YouTube now. Okay, fair enough. I have, a f I have to find a way. Some I have to find some way to inflict a deafening blow to the prosecution. Witness, you said that was the only thing you stole. Wait, said that the only thing you stole was the note. Is this correct? Stole? I saved this paper, piece of paper from the from the terrible lonely trash can. That's all. You're lying, damn it! I can and I can prove it. Are you putting my credibility to under scrutiny again? I don't believe that the note is the only thing you stole that night. You probably stole Lotta's camera too. Miss Oldbang, that note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? A camera? Yesterday, Lotta Hart was raising a huge stink over her camera. She kept saying that something like, My sweetie, one well, $1,600 camera disappeared on me. Why, why, witness? What is it, Gramps? If you have the note, then it is only logical that you have the camera too. Looks like you found me out again, Sonny. Is this the camera you're talking about? Ugh, that's... What, even though I look like this, I'm still a person, you know. I still eat meals like you. I fall in love and borrow things from people. Um, I think your definition of borrow is a little off. I saw that woman's business card, and that's when I noticed it. It said, slime bag celebrity photographer extraordinaire. Well, when I saw that, I had to know what sort of pictures she had taken. I'm a professional security guard. It's my business to know these things. Bailiff, check this camera's photos. Hurry. We must examine them at once. Ooh, okay. So? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do we have? There is only one photo that seems to be relevant to this case. Please present it to the court. Interesting. It's the Nickel Samurai. This proves that the witness was not lying earlier about this matter. What does this all mean? What does this all mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This proto by itself does not prove that the person in it is the defendant. However, in his own confession, Mr. Ungard clearly stated that at the time of the murder, he was still in his Nickel Samurai costume. If that's the case, then this Nickel Samurai is the defendant. How did it come to this? I think this brings us to the end. We have examined every piece of evidence thoroughly. Final comments, Mr. Wright? The court will consider them before we close. Do you agree that this photo is, is, is decisive evidence against your client? If this photo really is decisive, then we're done for. But if I raise an objection here and blow it, then I would put Maya's life in jeopardy. If I, I can't make a mistake here, there's only one road out of this mess. This photo that Lotta took, there's... 
I can't see it. Like, I mean, like, uh, it's asking me, is there something wrong with it or is there something not wrong with it? But it won't let me see it because the fucking options are in my way. Good thing I took a photo. Um, okay. What is different? Where's this mechanical arm? Uh, okay. Let's have let's compare the photo. Okay. There's got there has to be something wrong wrong with it, otherwise we lose. So There's something strange with this photo. I knew this was coming, right? Your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? I think we can all agree there's nothing strange with this photo. There is no way for the defense to debunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. Debunk with a bunker buster? Is that what you're planning to do, Mr. Wright? Oh, um, anyway, please look at the photo one more time. Shit, 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 shit. I'm only gonna get one chance at this, okay. Can't you take a good shot, especially when it counts? <laughs> what about this photo is strange? I get it right? At the time of the murder, Mr. Ungar was in his own room, which means it's a fake. If you think that's all it takes, you should reconsider your choice of occupation. I think it's about time you... Oh, I fucked it, didn't I? I fucked it. Yeah, okay, well. Well, actually, did I fuck it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What about this photo is strange? Wait. Have you got an idea, Dre Sang? Look at the picture in the advertisement. Uh, I can't. <laughs> uh, I can't. I'll have to reload again. Uh, did I have a, do I have a picture? Okay. Well, what I'll do, I'll have a... Hmm. Okay, so what about this photo is strange? So, oh, so the rope is there. So you saw it, right? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the, yeah, the rope is still there. Like everything seems to check out like costume wise. The only thing he doesn't have is his big Hal beard. 
Oh, thank you for the raid, um, Dio. What up? And welcome to the stream, uh, those who raided with uh, Dio. Thank you very much for the follow. I can't read the name. I'm sorry. I am iconic. <laughs> iconic. Uh, welcome to. The, uh, thank you for following. Thank you very much. Let's see. I also noticed there was a bear or something. I'm getting on terribly, actually. This this case is pretty difficult. I'm gonna click on the teddy bear. Yeah, I fucked it. Okay. Um. Mm. What is the problem? What is the problem with this photo? What is the problem with this photo? What is the problem with this photo? What about? What about? Didn't like it. Did that already. He always had a scar, right? Uh, I don't know. Did he always have a scar? He has like lines on his face, yeah, but so, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's meant to be there. If I click anywhere on him, then I get it wrong. Let me have another look at that photo one more time. Well, I say one more time as if I won't keep looking at it. Huh, okay, no. Wait. No, okay, never mind. I thought I had- Ah, oh, no! No, don't save! Okay, no, I thought I had it. Um, but I did not. He's kind of short, but there's no way to me to tell- There's no way for me to point that out in a photo. This is this is gonna be a problem. Is it any of the flowers or something? No. Ah, it won't let me. It won't, it won't let me. Oh no! I lose. Me, I'm big loser.
I can't even like I can't even like press the um, open up open up the court record so I can go over the facts of the case. Fly, not gonna fly. Okay. Let me have a look at the facts of the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was meant to be there. Mm, no, wouldn't be that. Is, are you going to say his feet? Dre Sang? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I noticed it, I noticed it at the exact same time you did. However, I will try, I will try it. What's that sound? Oh. Right, um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, no, that. Uh, yeah, I thought that, but then like, I think I think Hakama usually covers your feet anyway, and the only reason we see his socks is because of the fact that he's taking like a wide stance. But I will give it a try anyway. Actually, to be fair, even for Hakama, it does it, it does look pretty like sh large on him. There we go. We did it, Dre. We did it, Dre Sang. <laughs> Who boy? What are you pointing at? His ankles. If you could see this person's ankles, that would be. Wait, who said this person's short? Emblem, you are on the right track. <laughs> Um, you can't. And? What does that mean? The costume person in this photo could not have been Mr. On Guard. What is the meaning of this? I would wonder if you would actually, if you would care to elaborate with actual facts, that is. Let's take a look at the Nickel Samurai's poster. Please pay attention around the area uh, at the bottom of the Hakama. His socks. You can see his socks. Exactly, however, in this photo, the Nickel Samurai is clearly holding, holding up his Hakama up just to walk. Uh, but to do it, there's only one explanation for this. This person inside the costume is clearly much shorter than the defendant. Alright, I think I've turned things around for myself this time. That's curious, huh? What is, what is? Edgeworth is unusually calm today. That's true. He's just letting the trial run itself, as if he's only going along for, along for the ride. Let's fucking go. Um, I can only guess that perhaps he doesn't feel under attack at all. He doesn't feel under attack? Then I haven't damaged this case at all? So technically it's 10 o'clock and I should, end, should be ending the stream right about now. But I have to get to, to, to the end of this section of the trial first. If the person in this photo is not Matt Nangar, then everything the prosecution is trying to prove has become meaningless. Hmm. I figured it would come to this. What? Right. I have something I want to ask you. I think you have proven that the person inside this costume is not Matt Nangar. In that case... Who is this a photo of? Who is the person wearing the nickel samurai costume? Don't stress out over this, Phoenix. It's very simple. What you should be focused on is the Edgeworth's attitude, don't you think? Yeah, why is he so calm? All right, let's hear your thoughts. Who is the person in this, in this photograph? Andrews? 
If you want to know who that nickel samurai is, it's none other than this woman. And why would you say it must be Miss Andrews? What, put, what in the world points you to her? For starters, she's short. And she can freely move, or move in, in and out of Mr. Engard's room. Finally, she had dinner with Mr. Engard that night. And how does that all, how does that all add up? It means that it makes it very easy for her to get a certain item. A certain knife within Mr. Engard's fingerprints all over, all over it. The knife that was used as a murder weapon. Why don't you just say what you, wait. Why don't you just say what it is you want, right? I have to do, I have to do this now. This is my last chance to turn things around. The defense moves to indict Miss Adrian Andrews in the murder of Juan Corridor. It was Miss Andrews who tried to frame the defendant for the crime. Okay. It looks like this trial has hit a most unexpected development. Mr. Edgeworth, yes, Your Honor. This court is issuing a subpoena for Miss Adrian Andrews. A verdict cannot be passed without first hearing a testimony. All right, this is it. This is kind of bad for us. Huh? What do you mean? If Adrian Andrews is summoned to court as a witness, it means that the trial will go on for another day. Yes, which means, yes, we're meant to get the acquittal today, not another day. If I don't get a verdict today, then Maya. Now then, we shall set Miss Andrews' testimony for tomorrow. Who oh boy, what do we do? What am I supposed to do? The, ju the judge is about to adjourn the court. Now then. Please, Your Honor, continue the trial. You must pass the verdict today. I can't do that. We cannot hear Miss Andrew. She's here. She's here. Wait, no. I abhor wasting such valuable time. Edgeworth? Your Honor, I request that you please continue with today's trial. But we cannot continue due to this unexpected development. Unexpected development? I think you underestimate me, Your Honor. What do you mean by that? That Mr. Phoenix would slave his way to subpoena Miss Andrews at all is happening according to plan, even if Wright was a bit slow to catch on. What? He was meant, he, ooh, he meant for this to happen. What is the meaning of your statement, Mr. Edworth? Miss Adrian Andrews is currently waiting in the prosecution's lobby. She is the next witness. Everything. Everything was planned out in advance by that man. Somehow I knew there was no ed way Edgeworth could overlook Miss Andrews. Looks like this battle is far from over. Exactly. Very well, we will call the next witness. However, before we proceed, we shall take a 10 minute recess. Please prepare your witness in that time, Mr. Edgeworth. The court will now take a 10 minute recess. Da, 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 da. So, I am gonna... Wait, hold on, let's try this again. I'm stopping the stream now, basically, because I need to uh, go. <laughs>